right, so in the last video, if you recall, we built the controls, the manual controls for the AV-01, and we went back and we were talking about we were going to go build the controls for the rest of the valves, right? So what we did is we came back in and did the edits that we did up here for the, the control logics on the uh, PLC program. We did the same thing for AV-02, which is right here, and right here, you can see that. And we did the same thing for AV05. Now AV05 is slightly different, but we still did block the actual um, timer. Now the reason I did that is to keep things consistent and to keep things operating the same way. Now to show you this, all I did was duplicate the screens. So I duplicated the screens and I made, um, you know, an AV01, AV02, AV03, AV04, AV05 six and seven so each one of these would be corresponding with the actual uh, positions so when you open them they will actually open in the position they are at so what i did is i i just checked the box that you know basically just says that you can open it here right so it would instead of the position right here where you would see it instead of specifying where it goes you would select the um, actual use current position now use current position obviously would actually use that current position. Now if you now there's a slight offset in things. So if I was to call AV03 and it was right here, I would want it to kind of pull up over here. And then I would come over here and just toggle this. And sometimes that, that actually gets rid of the, the little cache or cache right there. And then close that. Alright, save it. Now again, at the same point, that's the same thing I did over here, is I'm using the current position, right? So just to kind of show you that and just kind of show you how that works, right? Um, it's very, very, very simple. Um, and, and that way you don't have to specify positions. So when I call them, it will call in the specified area. Now, the reason I'm getting a wireframe right here is because if we don't have any program for AV03 or AV04 or AV06 right here, we don't have, or AV07. We don't have any program for that. Now, uh, so we do have for AV02, and if I start that, it will actually turn that valve on. Now again, now I can close that and close the valve immediately. Same thing for AV01. I can open it, open AV01 right there, and then I can close it, and then the same thing for AV05. So, and I do I still, I still did keep the actual um, confirmation on, and the reason I kept the confirmation on is just like I just showed you right here. So in instead though, I changed it to a yes or no, right? Are you ready to perform this action? I changed it to a yes or no. So if I choose no, it will not open. And I'll show you how I did that. Is in this actual button. And we'll pull up the button right here. We'll go right here. And the confirmation, I just changed the button settings from OK or cancel to yes or no. You can change it to OK only, yes only, yes or no. Um, I like to keep it yes or no because if they choose no, then it does no action whatsoever. And again, that's our, that's actually our goal is to get that correct, right? Also too, I wanted to actually come back and talk about the motor. I actually did a little bit of work on the motor, um, meaning I come in here and I, um, push the start button and we had the speeds working correctly now but I had to do the speed reference a little bit different so I want to kind of talk about how we did that so let's stop that and you'll see the speed reference actually go down and then as it stops it will go off all right so let's talk about that for just a second now close that screen and let's kind of go in and zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about better. Okay, so right here you can see um, this is an actual uh, numeric display and all it is is uh, if you come right here and you go to numeric display, that would be what I did. So uh, just to kind of show you that, you know, and I, there is no edit. So uh, when it comes down to it, that's what I added. And the reason I had to do this is, is because I had to add a variable in here. So in the PowerFlex, the way the PowerFlex interprets data is in within the thousands. So 
if it's running 10 hertz it is actually needs to be divided by a hundred so that's what I did here is I made a small expression I said the I'm monitoring the actual frequency that's coming back the tag that's coming back from the power flex which is going to be giving me again uh, in the thousands so I have to divide that by a hundred to get the correct amount now and again so I wanted to come back and show you that because it's slightly different than what we did over here is we use the actual uh, data right so we actually use the data that was there and we use just the standard insert variable now again the reason I didn't use the insert variable here is because it's just as easy to actually use um, come back and actually use an expression it's actually a better application to use an expression just like we did in a numeric display so um, when it comes down to it that's just that's what I did and that's how you actually do that so when I come over here this would give me a firm indication of the actual speed and what it is running in the Hertz that it is running right so that's that's a better implementation and that's a better way to do that so we'll stop that real quick and come over here make sure that stopped get back here and let me show you that what I'm talking about here so with that in con in the controls if we go to the actual um, power flex come down to the power flex and you'll see we're monitoring an input parameter and the input parameter will be the frequency and if it starts it's going to be in the thousands so let's just go ahead and start it so this is going to be in the thousands so you see it's running and I need to divide that number by a hundred to get actual 10 Hertz right so just to make sure you you actually see that is transitioning and I just wanted to, to explain everything we're doing so that you are 100% aware and as we move forward you you know exactly what we're doing inside of these videos and inside of the programming so that you are fluent in everything uh, as far as there is no question about what we're doing and when we move forward and do other things you know there is no question so real quick I just want to make a simple little video to show you the valves on and off and the positioning and stuff of that nature again we do have the controls in here for AV01 AVO2 and AVO5. We'll come back and do the controls for uh, AVO6, 3, 4, 6, and 7 as soon as we get all the controls in there. Again, uh, we may end up coming in and putting a pop up and stuff for the pumps as well so that that way it will be there. But again, when it comes down to it, there's no sense in actually having to uh, you know do that in front of you because you actually have seen thus custom, the, the, you know, build a custom element and actually you know how that process works so again when it comes down to it to save you time and save you effort I just want to make sure we do pass on the information and we do a quick little video to talk about what we've done so that we can move forward alright so with all that said we'll see you guys on the next one